let's do it. I'm 24 years old. I am originally from Rotterdam, Netherlands, and now I live in Amsterdam. I moved here because I wanted a life that really excited me. And I felt like the easiest way to do that, to reach that goal, was to move to Amsterdam because it's such a cool city. And I feel like Amsterdam is really known for accepting different people. To me, identity means that you embrace yourself as a person so you really listen to your inner child regardless of what you are or what you want to do i don't really identify myself as anything because i am a nobody but therefore i can be anybody that i want because i don't label myself so i can be a very sporty girl i can be a very sexy girl if i want i can be the biggest nerd that you will ever see. It's just because I also feel like if you label yourself, if you identify yourself as, you limit yourself from the rest. Because why can't you be everything and anything? When I just started working at a strip club, people were quite shocked. And at the beginning, I kept it as a secret. But then I really, came to the realization that working in that environment is not necessarily, does not necessarily mean that you are <laughs> troubled or that you lost yourself as a person. You can, I mean, I'm the last one to say that that's a normal environment or like every day to day stuff. But if you're true to yourself and if you're in control of your decisions, then you know your own boundaries and you can function in any situation. And I feel like if you really break free from the expectations of other people, then you are free in your mind. and You have space to think about what you want to be and what you want to do with your life. Don't you know that it's just you? Hey, you, you do. We are Backstage right now for the performance tonight, and we're gonna play at 9:30, and we're gonna play five songs. So, I'm so excited! During my whole life, people expected me to be this certain person. So I was always the sporty girl who played a lot of sports and I was always a little bit the smart girl. And I really felt like I had to play that character. I had to be the normal girl that wanted to be liked by everybody. And it really made me quite depressed because I was looking at these people who were, for example, musicians and very different in, their, in themselves. And people thought that they were weird, but I was so inspired and also very jealous of them because I was like, I want to be myself as well. And the idea of people hating that really hurt me, but I think that it's completely worth it if you maybe disappoint people, but you're still who you are, true to yourself. So you still have a clean conscience and you go to bed. Not, it went not that well, but like I felt it, you know. People were like clapping, you know, and I was like, Ugh, yes, I want to contaminate them with my positive energy. And like, if I feel that they enjoy that by watching or hearing me do something, that's the best 
literally the best feeling that exists in the world to me personally. Like nothing, nothing is comparable. Nothing. Okay, well maybe my sister, maybe my family, but after that, there's nothing comparable. No, no feeling. Matches up to it.